Well, good morning, everybody. It's been just over eight hours since we got here, and uh, we're gonna go deliver this load now to Newmarket, Ontario. And then I have a, a reload uh, in a town called Breslow, Ontario. It's close to Kitchener. Uh, I go and pick up the loaded trailer there. I believe it's already loaded. They're just waiting for the paperwork to go through. And that's taking me back down to Georgia. So I got a decent sleep. I was here for my mandatory eight hours. Oh, which reminds me. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna have to stay here another hour and a half or so because in order to cross back into the US later, I have to stop for 10 hours. I'm glad I didn't start rolling yet. Shoot. Okay, well. Well, 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 well. That puts a kink in our plans, Diesel. You almost messed that one up, man. I know, right? So in Canada, I only have to stop for eight consecutive hours and then I can continue driving. But if I want to cross into the US, as far as I know, unless if they've changed this recently, because they keep changing it, but I still go by these rules. Before I cross back into the US, I have to have 10 hours consecutive off on my last sleep, or my last time off, so that I can cross in there. Shoot. Okay, so we'll be sitting around for a little bit yet. Then we'll go unload. They're not in any rush for this, so as long as I get there sometime today, they're happy. And my, my trailer's just already loaded over there, so this should be okay. We've got an exceptional amount of lane divers here today. Coming down from Newmarket into Toronto, and this is the 401 where it uh, breaks off from, what is this, the 404, right? And we've had signs. To the right on Highway 401 West RTE 401. Of course, now that I'm here, no, no one's, oh yeah, there's somebody up ahead there doing it. Lane diving right at the last minute. Come on. Don't let him in. We've had signs for miles and miles saying, oh, these two lanes are exiting. If you if you want to exit, get in these two lanes. These two lanes right here, okay? I've only told you about 10 times now. Last chance, get in these lanes. And you get to where the lanes actually split off, and everyone's like, oh, there's my turn! <laughs> Toronto. Toronto's exceptionally bad for, for that, for lane diving. I know people say California is too, and I believe that. I don't go there very often on purpose, but Toronto is Toronto. The drivers here very aggressive. 400 meters, keep to the right on Highway 401 West RTE 401, and then keep to the right in 450 meters. All right, tow truck, why are you driving right beside me? I've had my signal on this whole time now. He just drives right beside me. There you go. There you go. I know my signals are working. I can see him in my mirror. There you go. 200 meters. Keep to the right on Highway 401 West RTE 401 and then keep to the right in 450 meters. Almost had to turn me into a lane diver. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been ironic? That's another thing about Toronto. You know, you turn your turn signal on. Meters, keep to okay, the right Karen. On Leslie Street. Baby Wave. You're getting frustrated, Street. Karen. I'm going to throw you out the window. Yap, 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 yap. Every time you're in Toronto. It's another thing about Toronto. Well, we have found ourselves hooked up to another different trailer. We sure switched trailers a lot more on Van Division than on Flatbed, that's for sure. So we got a new one behind us. It's our new friend. We're taking him all the way down to Georgia. This is our old friend. We're not friends anymore, we're leaving him here. This is our new friend. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a party. So I'm going to be in Waynesboro, Georgia or in the area tomorrow night. I'm gonna drive at least six hours tonight yet that I can do the rest tomorrow. And then we're gonna sit there over the next day, get another reset for our logs, like I was telling you before, and be fully reset to continue on trucking on Monday. Gotta deliver this first thing Monday morning. And who knows where they'll send us from there. Life's an adventure. We'll see what happens. Just gonna do a little tug test, make sure the trailer's not gonna fall off. Double shirt, there it is. The trailer brakes also work. And we're gonna roll forward. And they disengage. Good. All right, boys and girls. I don't wanna jinx 
jinx it, but there's been a lot of just dropping hooks. Way more than I remember from when I was on dry vans three years ago. Just like drop, bring a trailer here, drop it, bring it there, drop it, pick this one up there, pick that one up there. You know, park in a dock, let them unload it for you. A lot of this is because of the, uh, the COVID thing going around. They don't want us in a lot of these buildings, so I can just drop the trailer off and they unload it, whereas I used to unload it. That's kind of nice. So we're going to make our way towards Fort Erie, Ontario, which is the Canadian side of the border. We're going to cross into Buffalo, New York. Where the Buffalo roam, I think. He didn't give me the finger, so that's always nice. I believe this town is called Breslau, Ontario. B-R-E-S-L-A-U or something? Something like that. I don't know. I'm going to keep my eyes open for Timmy's or for a coffee stop, truck stop in general. I need a coffee. I've been running around all day. Only had a small coffee in the morning. It's a crime. I haven't had enough coffee yet. You don't want to see me when I haven't had any coffee. This is LCV parking only, guys. And you're going to have a guy come in here with two long trailers and have nowhere to park because you plugged it all up. Parking for us is over here. We're at an on route. O-N standing for Ontario route. Clever, right? I know, Ontario is very clever. Look at this parking spot. That guy doesn't know how to park in the lines. Maybe I should bring some chalk with me once and uh, you know, draw lines for these guys so that they're at least within those lines. Or I can just set the example and park right beside him, nice and straight between the lines. Think he'll learn his lesson? Of course he won't. Mark myself as off duty. I am going to get a coffee. It's gonna be fantastic diesel. You want a Timbit? Of course you do. Who doesn't want Timbits? Well, that's new. In order to get access into the rest areas and uh, on roads here in Ontario, you now have to wear a mask. That's so funny because I remember the last time I was out here, they said that Masks wouldn't do anything. You don't need to wear them. You should save them for the medical people because it doesn't actually stop the transmission It actually makes it worse because all of the You know, you're breathing carbon dioxide in here and you're breathing it back in it reduces your oxygen levels It actually makes you more unhealthy is what they told me last time I was out here And I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense Now they want us to wear masks I almost forgot that this whole virus was still around Nobody talks about it anymore because everyone's all focused on all the riots and stuff. Apparently those are okay. <laughs> those are just fine. Those are just fine. Gather in the streets by the tens of thousands, shoulder to shoulder, link arms. Go and hug each other. That's perfectly fine. But you want to go get a coffee at an on route, you better be wearing your mask and social distancing. Keep two meters apart. Okay? I have a lot more to say. I'm just going to leave it there. What a weird world we live in, right? What if nothing makes sense. It's like the people running the countries around us and all the people in, in power, the only reason they got their position is because they didn't qualify for anything else. So they became a politician. It's like... <laughs> rant over. Let's get on the road. I could rant so much longer on that. Maybe I should. This town, I believe, is Oseo? Osale something. That dude's just standing out on the balcony in his boxer shorts. Good for him. Good for him. Right on Main Street. Live free or die. This looks like a pretty old town. Look at these tiny little houses right up on the street. Oh, that's a nice house right there on the left. The 
get all the doctors and the lawyers from the city coming out here to the smaller towns building these massive mansions. I love it. Still making our way toward Buffalo. Still on the Canadian side. Here we go over the Peace Bridge from Fort Erie, Ontario to Buffalo, New York. In one kilometer, take the entrance to the left on I-190 South. see Buffalo skyline just there off to the right. And here we go, there's the Canada flag and the US flag. We're in the US. Crossing border, entering New York. I already told him. Always a little bit behind the ball there, Karen. Looks like they're doing some rentals. 600 meters, take the entrance to the left on I-190 South. First, we gotta go talk to the good Americans. Let them know that we're peaceful. And I mean, no trouble. That I will be a good boy. All trucks keep right. Okay, I'll see you on the other side. All right, we got the green light. We have promised to be very good boys that we're not going to cause any trouble. We're going to listen to all the rules. We're going to obey all the rules. So this is Buffalo, New York. Brakes, don't hit your brakes. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. What are you doing? What are you doing? to take care of their guests, like I was saying. Um, not knowing how to merge properly is uh, a thing that's on both sides of the border. <laughs> but we love them anyway. They're good people. So I don't know how far we're going to get tonight. I don't really want to drive too late and then have to struggle finding parking. But I do need to drive about another four hours at least. Which will bring us to about one in the morning. <laughs> Which means we're gonna have trouble finding parking. Well, that's okay. Any of you from Buffalo? Any of you from here? Very nice city you got going on here. <laughs> 